business. Hold so this business, but a private, you can't retail to the private individual. It must be to another business. These are old, old terminologies, I know. Uh, here they've got the web ones, Webcore and WX, but um, yep, that's true. Designed for organisers to collaboratively conduct business activities such as management, customer service, R&D, etc. So, Commonwealth Bank of Australia, e-commerce system, business to business. Well, yes, but as my previous example, it does have private customers too. You know, you're a private customer, but somehow or other you find it difficult to walk into a bank. But these days you've got to do it over your over your um, network or your computer from home. Customer to customer, eBay. That's a good one. That's a really good one, eBay. Something for sale, you know. My earlier example, remember my earlier example? You've got a car to sell, I want to buy it, get B pay or whatever payment intermediary you use. We exchange money, then you drive away from that piece. Customer to customer. eBay is another, a better example, actually. Uh, career success user productivity. That reminds me, I've got to do one of those too to by tomorrow. Um, not too sure. So, computer software which are not classified as information systems. Well, the, the cl classic MS Word, computer games, Putty, WinSP. Those sort of things are not quite. That's computer software, it's not really information system, but have a guess what? It enables you to talk with another operating system, Putty does, for example. Let's talk to a use box. Very important. So it's not quite an information system, but it's more like TCP IP, the, the network protocols that are running underneath. It allows these things to go. Okay? It allows those to communicate because most of, most of the uh, storage areas are under really huge control, not under Windows. How many times has Windows, oh, I'll come to you, sir. How many times has Windows been uh, broken into? Hundreds? Thousands? Tens? Less than that. Less than ten. That's growing to hack, you know, strictly. There are systems that we let wide open without security that people utilize, that's true. But when, when the full security measures have been done, that's the test. And of course, one of them, one of the, the, the units growing, BSD, BSD uh, has been broken into once and once only. And that was 30 years ago. So, where do you think your data is stored? On a window system where people are breaking in millions of times a year over billions of machines and worms and all that all organised to get that. Or on the Xbox. A little bit different. Or better still, the question is, which one would you like your data to be stored on? Okay, so putty and all that. How, how did I get into operating systems? I'll never know. Okay, yes, uh, information system developed internally and for small companies, that's it. Thank you, pardon, sir. You had a question and I walked off. Do you want, want me to go back? Oh, that's fine. Why don't we just slide this through? Not very specific to which place to start. Why does it mean by that? Because we have computer games and all those. No, which one? It's a specific one. Oh, uh, that's, uh, it, that, that, that's a translation between a Windows thing. Because what happens if you if you grab if, if you grab some data from a Windows Microsoft Word, let's say this is not Windows SCP, but this is an example when you when you look it up later you'll see what I mean. It has a lot of hidden things in there that Windows puts in the end of paragraphs and the colours and all the all the sort of extra things that aren't seen in this Word that you look at WYSIWYGI. What you're looking at, you type in like Meryl, you type in like all that things, central, nice headings, all that sort of stuff there. However, if you put it into, into a, uh, a Unix box, it'll go ballistic. It doesn't understand it. The, the, it it'll go, go about three lines and go bleh. So if, if you write your program out, your Java program, on an MS Word, and then shove it across into 
windows and say, hey, Java, let's jab at it. Java is it. Look. And it's due to all the rest of those you know, So when that sort of type of program is is uh, is is cleaning up, if you like, between one type of operating system and the other and the way through, if you like. It doesn't strictly do, do, do that, but that's one of its big uses. Okay. Sorry, I jumped over that. That was that was rather a technical one there, but um, not really thinking. What are we up to? Uh, internally and externally develop. So structured system development methods, structured analysis. We use a system development life cycle, SDLC, which we'll be doing next week. Um, there's a predictive approach. Uses a set of pro or we could use a set of process models to describe a system graphically. There's always a graphical way of writing things out. Uh, you know, a circle means something that the people will see you on the basis of, of a description of these things. A square means something. One of those means something. We'll learn all about this later. A square means something else. A square means a process. Um, a, a, a dog like that is in programming means something like uh, true or false if true. You know, that's, that's the uh, that's a logical expression in there. If it's true, it kicks out that way. If it's false, it goes down. And so forth and so forth. That's the graphical. The same thing applies to uh, process flows, chemical flows, engineering, all those sorts of things. Okay, <coughs> so there's the system development methods, general ones, structured analysis. There's object-oriented analysis. Um, everyone here done, done Java, object-oriented programming? Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. The Python people, we didn't touch objects so much. So let me explain. The object-oriented analysis consists of firstly, hopefully this works right, okay, all of them, combines data and processes into ob objects. An object is an instance of a class and objects possess attributes and properties and methods manipulate those, or ma manipulate an object's attributes and properties. So let's look at that. Here is a person. A person consists of a family name, which is a string, or char, and a first name and an age. Okay, that's an int, that's a string, or a char, and that's a string, or a char. Okay, a char array. So we have a method, change age, for example. That is a method that manipulates that age there. So this is all part of the object-oriented uh, paradigm, if you like. So let's look at an instance of a class. Person, called individual one, has a name, uh, is of type person from there, has a name, which is the family name, and that's the, the, the uh, first name, and that's the age. Person two, etc., etc. So there's an, always an object-oriented analysis, so whenever Whenever you're doing uh, particularly an object oriented programming, it's pretty straightforward. All the object oriented programming, you understand those straight away. People who haven't, as yet, you'll, you'll, you'll be getting to that when you're doing Java this year. Uh, who's doing Java? People who have been in Python last semester, you do Java this semester? Yeah, it, look, you'll be, you'll be two weeks down the line, you'll, you'll, you'll be beyond this. So I won't go into it laborious detail, but we can see there, there's a method, change age, the objects possess attributes, properties, Williams 3 to 36, that's the sort of things that, that a person has, and an object is an instance, so individual one is the instance of that. Okay, Java people will be falling asleep on here. Um, project management, the work 
to initiate a planned supervised development of an information system and the importance of project management. Project management is a, is a, a real hotbed over the last 10, 15 years, if I can say that. It's been a real hotbed. The style of running projects has changed. I'm trying to get a uh, expert group from my other subject who is a project manager, and it's always interesting to see. I've been here, I've been talking to this guy for about 15, 20 years. I used to work with him in another industry years ago. But it's evolving all the time. Very interesting. So just believe me, it's a, it, I don't want to get involved in it right now. But project management is very, very uh, serious and it's, and it's a bit of a hotbed. I think it's signing up now, but I'll be seeing it in a couple of weeks. I'll have a chat with you. So the, the idea of project management is efficiency, effective, effectiveness. Uh, no one might spend the dollar, but it must be spent on the right thing, not wasting. So it's against wastage. It's not against spending. People think, oh, they're cheapskates. It's not against that. They, you know, no one, these people don't mind spending a dollar, but they want it spent usefully on that item that they get a value for their, for their money back. So owners, particularly, are more interested in getting value for dollar, if you like, rather than just making it cheap for the sake of being cheap. Because all that happens when you do it the cheap way is look at, look, look at the legal courts and how many people get sued. And you really don't get away with it. So it's not a matter of anybody who wants to get away with it, but typically speaking, good businesses will work that way. They don't mind spending the money, but they've got to get, you know, the, the quality is what they're after if they can use those things. And they may be large and they may be small. Complex projects can take dozens of people, hundreds of tasks, many thousands of dollars, if not millions. System, stick to a plan. Now, of course, if you're rowing down the river and your plan is to row down the river and you're busily rowing around and you sort of hear a sound of water cascading over a fall. And as you keep doing that, you look over and you see, oh, that's an uh, infinity pool over here, I think. I'm looking at infinity. And of course you're going to change. You've got to be adaptable and responsive. But stick to a plan doesn't mean blindfold. It means keep, keep alert. Watch out for that infinity pool as you're going on, which could really be a waterfall, a big one. But stick to the plan, don't deviate. It's good in principle, however, be very alert and be ready to change. Please. I teach this in leadership later. Um, right, involve the users, clients throughout the development process. How do you feel if I may I use you as a as a, uh, as a subject, sir? The boss turns up one morning and says, look, um, What's your favourite job? Yeah. 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 Ice cream, ice cream toaster. Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Is that okay? Yeah, sure. And you, I know that you like ice cream, but if I turn up and say, yeah, I've got a good job for you, sweep out the fridge, please. Yeah. Now, <laughs> no, 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 I, I hesitate. You don't feel good about that, do you? If your favourite job is an ice cream place, do you have to? Sure, sometimes they have to go in and lift some ice cream, which is wonderful. Okay, but here I am, sweeping out the fridge. Okay. Involve your strides throughout the development process. In another world, I would say this. If you're the boss, delegate wisely and delegate in a way that is comfortable for other people. In other words, delegation is so mishandled. Very much understanding. So, involvement of the person. You, what else would I say to you? I, I could have said to you, what would you like to do today? You'd say, oh, good ice cream. It'd be nice. And I'd say, okay. If you can do that from, you know, 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock, and then we've still got to get somebody in there to sort of get through, you know. Much, much, much better. Involvement. The purpose of involvement is it gives the person who is involved with it a stake in the product. They 
they have a stake in it. If it's a good product, they feel good. Their stake is not just dollars in the pocket. It's not working for a wage. You must have that stake in it when you do doing these things. So people can say, I was part of that. I thought of that. I was involved in it. I did that little bit over there. Have a stake in it. That's, what you, that's why it's involved. It's not as simple as just the OK dollar control. Hey, team, let's do this. No, you lost. If it's something like um, it's, it, it's something like delegation, I gave a delegation example there. That's that's fine. Delegate in a meaningful way and fairly and equitably. But you've got to get people involved also in the decision making. You must get them involved in the decision making. And what's the trouble with making getting everybody involved in decision making? Everybody in the team. Are there, are there any? Any problems with it? Five more minutes, guys, and we can go. Any problems with getting it? Yes, there are. One, just one thing. Time. It takes so long to come to the to, to, to come to the conclusion. If you've got time in your planning or development, that's fine. But if you haven't, you might need to be a unilateral decision. In other words, you make it on it, you make it. But if you've got time, for goodness sake, be involved. That's true. And get everybody part of the decision. Not a problem. It's great. But if you haven't got time, that's the only sticking point. If the boss says, by tomorrow I want your answer, <laughs> you can't have 50 people talking. They'll be still talking next morning. Listening is very important. I won't labour this. You've got to listen and understand what they're saying. You must do that. And use project management tools to identify tasks and milestones. Identify, identify the various steps you need to achieve by a certain time. The normal sort of planning types of, uh, of things you need to go through. Okay. And remain flexible, but stick to a plan. <laughs> that one should be right next to that one. They go together. Develop accurate cost and benefit information. Cost and benefit. There must be a benefit. Now remember. Remember, please remember in your analysis and guidelines when you are professionals out there that the benefit, if you, if you derive a benefit for your team, because look at the professional charge of them, if you derive that sort of a benefit for the team, it will come back to you amplified by the number of people you've got in the team. It will come back to you as a reward. So if there is a good benefit for that team, it, you, will, you will get the reward for I, I assure you. It's, you know, it's just like salt is salt and sugar is sugar. Uh, the IT, it maintains companies' network, provides technical support for users, develops small-scale information systems. Don't need to labour that any further, guys. Happy? OK, it, 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 it's no tricks to that. And this is the typical IT department. Application development, system support, user, they've got it all worked out quality assurance, web support, network administration. So that's a typical information technology department. Small, you'd probably have two or three people doing two or three of those areas. Okay, large, like this organisation, there'd be a couple of dozen people, three or four in each one, um, that sort of stuff. Okay, the application development, system support, security, user support, database. This is just going through those previous ones, to, just so we've got them there. Network administration, web support, quality assurance. And they're the things that are closely related to those. So, having said that, system analysis position, very important. This is one I do want to spend a minute or two to emphasise. Um, it's not just a matter of getting the fastest machine or the biggest machine. Uh, sometimes, sometimes the simplest of things are, are um, killed the big or far better than this big industrial sort of uh, solution that many people come up with. Uh, a thing that I've always gone through, and I've worked in heavy industry and light industry and this industry and the current industry, 
We used to call them as the answer the KISS principle. Keep it simple. The yes was for stupid, but not ever so to you. Keep it simple. Always keep it simple. The simple solutions always work. They always do. If it, if it doesn't work, it's not, a, it's not a KISS principle. But you've got to keep it simple. It helps humans. We're simple people. We can't think deep at the speed of a computer. We have no hope of getting to the speed of a computer. We can't move data around. We can't run as fast as a car. We can't fly on an aeroplane. As many things we've created, we can't do as well. As. And, and one of them is this as well, systems analysis. Keep it simple so that other people can pick up. If you happen to go to work one day, and uh, heaven forbid, or whatever your God is forbid, you get killed. And you're halfway through a big project. Have a just spare a moment, not for your opinion, but just imagine what would happen to that project. Now that big project might be 50 person in, or might be a project of three or four people in, but whatever, it might involve the expenditure of millions of dollars in two years' time. Millions of dollars. Risk capital. So I'm saying to you there that, that all of these things put together, there is a reason why you've gone down this. You, you've done this because you are following a systems approach. And somebody, your friend, can pick it up, the person who comes into the job can pick it up and work from there. Yes, it's going to be a few days and it's going to be very sad occurrence. Or you decide to just walk out and leave you can it as my and that's it. But whatever, these sort of things, because everyone's doing the same sort of thing, you can follow the logic, the reasoning, and move on, and the project does support to that, and other people that lose their jobs, etc. Et so that's the point I would make pretty strongly in relation to those sorts of points that are up there. And can you explain what an IS is, information system is, and can you provide examples? Reflection. Can you identify components of an IS? Of course you can. Can you identify a few IS based, few information systems based on users and functions? I think you can. Can you explain the role of a system an analyst in an IT department? Okay, I have sort of gone a little bit obtuse to there, I just wanted to emphasise how important it is, so go back and read that. Other any questions? Do I see more Please upload the lectures. <laughs> Sorry? Please upload the lectures. Upload the lectures. I'll be done. Uh, probably tomorrow morning I've got to do something tonight. Uh, tomorrow morning. And I'll be putting out uh, next week's um, uh, tutorials on maps, so that they'll be they'll be ready to go. I try to get them up by Friday, so that you can have them. Okay. Thank you very much. Hope it all means something to you. Oh, and. As you're going, next one. We'll do the the system development life cycle next week. I'm here. Leading me help is going on. No, it's not on tomorrow. First week. All the first. No labs first week. Any. There is an exception, uh, one of the programming languages, and one I used to run, also started with one where we're going, this is putty, this is how we do it. Nothing to eat, no. But come to the one next week, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not much programming in it. Okay. Not so much program. You you'll much use no. You'll you'll use a wheel to step you through MS Access. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Um, yeah, so so my programming examples went on to use to they serve me. Yeah. Okay. 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 But you got the gist, did you? Yeah, I got the gist. Beautiful. Not a problem.
it shouldn't be. We will be in a computer lab. Um, have you, you, you? You've logged on. You've got an account here. Yeah, you, you, you'll be probably asked to do about three weeks or four weeks. There'll be a little bit of stuff each time, but there'll be people in there. Lockie will be in there. I'll be in there. It's just that that's what's been most of my <laughs> Yes, ma'am. I emailed you last week about my labs. I needed to reschedule it on Tuesday because I was. Everything has changed. Did you notice that's changed? Um, look, um, let me get this up, ma'am. Well, typically, the university would email me if the, I would uh, hope if that the was timetable the would uh, change, but it didn't email me over the weekend. Now, which one do you want to be? There, there it is there. Which one do you want to be in? I need to be on the one on Tuesday at 2 p.m. That's yours there. Right. Give me your details, your student number and name, and that's the one you will turn up at, not today, but next week. Sure. That will be done. I don't care how. Um, it will be done. Thank you. And just put down uh, Tuesday 2 to 4 lab. Sure. Or oh, just lab. Yes, sir. Any what? No labs this week. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, tomorrow's Wednesday. No, 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 no. Okay? None this week. But next week there is. This is not a license for a holiday. <laughs> Yes, uh, I don't know what you're. Uh, uh, you're um, okay. Uh, you have to do it via Allocate Plus. Okay. Yeah, and I don't know what the student side looks like. Otherwise, I say you click on this, click on that, there, and, and you're done. I, I've never seen one because I'm not a student. Okay, so I so have to go back and ask there. Uh, yeah, that would be all somebody, yeah, your fellow students have already done it. You, you have to definitely hop up onto your account and do it and get onto uh, Allocate Plus, that's, that's true. Uh, and log in there and do what you I see from the other side, all my tools are to do with arranging where people go and, and it's complex enough. I have no idea when you're the student side what it looks like at all. Yeah. So, um, I would, I would hope that you would. Uh, so, would help you. Yeah, I, I will ask. It's you. not, it's not critical, but because the one you might want to get on, not. Yeah. Okay. I shall Are put this to one side. Oh, absolutely, man. Much more. As long as your name is there and your student number. That's it. Thank you very much. So when you turn up, just turn up to that one. You'll, I'll move everything to make sure you're there. If there is a hiccup there, look, there won't be. Hopefully not. No, no, no worries at all, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.